Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike Bird, and welcome to the WMU Cooley Law Library Minute, a series where we're talking about various resources in the library to assist you with your academic success. In today's video, we'll be taking a broad overview of the various question and answer resources available at the library for your use. The particular titles I'd like to talk about today are Questions and Answers, Finals, Core Concepts and Key Questions, Siegels, and finally, Law in a Flash flashcards. I wanted to talk about these all at once because I'm recommending them collectively. When you're preparing to take an exam, practice questions are a huge help, and more is pretty much always better. So the benefits of these titles aren't redundant, even if they're covering the same subject. You'd be well served by going through all four when preparing for an exam, time permitting. The first source I'd like to talk about is Questions and Answers, published by LexisNexis and thus available on the LexisNexis Digital Library, as well as in print in the library. Q&A is a decent baseline for what one may expect from some sample question study aids, in that each volume contains hundreds of multiple choice and short answer questions on a different, clearly de delineated topic in a format similar to law school or bar exams. There aren't really any surprises here, but Q&A is a reliable source of practice questions on pretty much any topic. The next to mention will be Finals, Core Concepts and Key Questions, published by Kaplan PMBR. Finals includes not only sample multiple choice questions, but a brief outline of the subject, typically 40 pages or so. It also uses question hypotheticals to test multiple concepts at the same time, and isn't always explicit about which concept it's testing, which I personally like because it better reproduces real testing conditions. That said, it does this at the expense of volume. Finals books typically have a mere fraction of the questions provided in Q&A. Also, it should be noted that the final series was actually discontinued a few years ago, and most of the titles we have are approaching 10 years old. While this won't be a problem with some subjects, like torts or property, the law can radically change in a short time in areas like con law or CivPro, so be sure to ask a librarian if a finals title's age is going to be an issue in your subject. The next series I'd like to talk about is Siegel's, published by Wolters Kluwer. Siegel's stakes similar territory to its competitors. There isn't much room for variety when you're trying to re reproduce the format of a law school exam, after all but always opens with a brief discussion of how to construct an essay for a law school exam, follows that with a few dozen essay questions, and concludes with about 100 multiple choice questions. Personally, I rather like the ERC process for essay exams they lay out, but the actual question content is about what you'd expect, though sparser than the other two series we've looked at. Finally, we have Law in a Flash, which is a series of a few hundred flashcards for each of the core law school subjects. Again, there isn't much to say about them that isn't immediately obvious. They're flashcards. And they don't recreate the law school exam question format the way the other resources do, so I would really recommend that you not rely on them exclusively. But if you like flashcards as a medium for quizzing yourself, you should be aware that this series exists and is available for use at our libraries. So what do I recommend? All of them. Use all of them, early and often. Any editorial difference between these, between these resources is just dwarfed by the availability of more questions to prepare for your exam. Um, there may be some preference on your part between the, uh, between the format, but again, there's really no way to figure that out without experiencing it, it for yourself. So please come on down to the library, take a look, and dig in. Um, now, as an aside, we've covered practice questions for law school exams here, but you may have heard your professors mention some bar, bar practice exam titles, um, such, as, such as the Strategies and Tactics series. Now, obviously I defer to your professor's recommendation on this, but I prefer to direct students to law school exam books first, since these books divide questions by subject, and so you can avoid the questions about things that you haven't studied yet. In any case, I'll be tackling bar exam and MPRE study guides in a future video. That about wraps it up for now, so I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.